Well, thank you for proving my daughter's point. Is that, daughter? yeah, she said that the, the female cops are always much nicer. And <laughs> I've, I've been taping asshole cops for the past week, and you're the first person who was nice. And you're also the first female we've dealt with. So thank you. I'm going to show her this video and tell her she was right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we can't all, like, police the same way. It's yeah. all discretion. It's yeah. all, you know, I, for me, talking to people is a big thing. Mm. And the way you talk to people is a big thing. <laughs> so. aggressively panhandling, so I don't think I'm breaking any laws. You're not. Hi. I'll talk to you in a second. One okay. sec. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I'm Some complaints. I'm pretty out sure you made that. By, pretty said, sure you made that up. Okay. I've only been here a few minutes, so I, I really doubt people have gone in and complained at this point because virtually nobody has walked by. Okay. You're not like harassing people. Not saying a word to anybody. Or... Haven't said a word to anybody except thank you to the one lady who gave me ten dollars. Okay. Well, you know that's that's all right. You have every right to be here. Thank you. Um, I mean, just make sure you're not obstructing the sidewalk and, and people, you give people a nice little walkway right here to walk by because, you know, some people are just a little intimidated. Yeah, of course. That's all. All right. Uh, to each their own. I'm just going to take some of your info down. Sure. Okay? It's not a ticket. No problem. You need like me that. get my ID out for you? Perfect. Yeah, if you have that. Yeah. Not only do I have it, I've been handing it to cops. Awesome. About four times in the past 48 hours. No, this will be the fifth. Is that right? Yeah. From this same location? No, no. It's my first time here. Well, okay. since I used to work here when it was Lucky's back in the 90s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Before your time, though. Yeah. Was it for the same stuff? Did no, I used to work here at Lucky's when oh, it was no, Lucky. Oh, no, I mean, um, when oh, no, the I, other officers uh, were talking to Well, let's see. The, was it for a no, for existing in Ocean Beach. I was told I had to move on, and then I started to move on, and I was told I wasn't moving on fast enough. Then I was woken up the next morning by cops who gave us a ticket, and then I was woken up this morning at 4.30 in the morning by a cop telling us that we couldn't sleep in the place we were sleeping even though there's not a letter on file and nobody made a complaint. So we're actually pursuing an uh, internal affairs investigation for the one this morning because that was a bit egregious. It seemed to just be there to wake us up a, in uh, Hillcrest. Hillcrest? Yeah. Okay. So you kind of go all over, yeah? I do what I gotta do. Yeah, I mean, this is La Jolla, so yeah. technically it's it's just like the border between PB and La Jolla. Yeah. So obviously we get a lot more calls out here, we get more store owner, store owner. Yeah, he came out quick. Like I said, the security store owner, they can say whatever they want, really. Yeah. If, you're, if you're on the property in the store, they don't want you there. You come, tell you to leave, you leave, you know, that's all you got to do. Yeah, and I'm not on the property, yeah, like here, I said. you're so. fine. Uh, so and I actually tried to get on the last bus, but he won't let me on because there's too much stuff. So, I would have really? I would have left if the last bus driver let me on, so. Do we'll see a, what... Do you have a phone number? Uh... 394? Hmm? 028. Where's that? Where are you born? Uh, New Jersey. Jersey, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see many people start with the zeros. No, I don't. Yeah, I just had someone the other day, and I meant to ask them <laughs> where the heck they were born. 
But what's weird is that I was born in New York, so I would think I'd have a different one, but my first my I forget what it's it's like starts with like a six, but it's the same as everyone else in my family who was born in California. It's weird. I'm not sure but what I moved pretty recently after I was born, so I don't know if that I, was it, but I always I left, wondered. I left New Jersey when I was six months old, so I yeah. I don't know I don't know if that had anything to do with it or I don't know. I don't know what they base it on, but I know it's rare. Well, thank you for proving my daughter's point. Is that, daughter? Yeah, she said that the, the female cops are always much nicer. And <laughs> I've, I've been taping asshole cops for the past week, and you're the first person who was nice. And you're also the first thank female you. we've dealt with. So thank you. I'm going to show her this video and tell her she was right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we can't all, like, police the same way. It's yeah. all discretion. It's yeah. all, you know... I, for me, talking to people is a big thing, mm. and the way you talk to people is a big thing. So people, ca yeah. some cops don't realize if you escalate it, it escalates, and yeah. if you don't, it doesn't. Yeah. I've seen them do it so many times. They did it four o'clock this morning when he woke us up. Yeah. Okay. So <sighs> do you, you think you might, you, if you have any warrants or anything like no. that? No. No. Not America's Most Wanted. I like I said, they've run me four times in the last forty-eight hours. But you're welcome to do it again if okay. you'd like. I'm just gonna do it real quick. Sure. Because I got it. I understand. I guess I'll wait. I'll skip this bus then. Because waiting for them. You gotta to wait for them, yeah. Just, take forever. Take up the time. Well, I just missed that bus, so I got another 20 minutes. And it turns out this is a much less uh, traffic than I thought, so I probably would have moved on anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's the thing too. Like PB is usually a good spot because you get the college students, and mm. most this... of the time the college students, like, like I was like that too when I was in college. Or I'd giving, just yeah. Give stuff out. Yeah. People are like that. Yeah, me too. I Up went to here. It's, it's La Jolla. You yeah. Know, so. Well, the, the the key is to find the one person who hands a fifty dollar bill, makes up for all the yeah. people in the Mercedes who just drive by and give me a snobby look. If you plan on, you know, heading heading down somewhere else, that's that's up to you. I guess yeah, I'm gonna I, to stay here. Yeah, um, I appreciate that. But you know, if they call us again, then I'll probably just if we do if I'm the same one that comes back, just go down the street or that way. Or well, I'm gonna try to get on each bus, so we'll we'll, okay. we'll see. Uh, thanks. We'll see. Uh, this technically is illegal to bring yeah. this much stuff on the bus, so it's each driver's discretion. So I got. Twenty one yellow. I'm code for it. Seven hundred turquoise with one to run both. Robert Ocean Nora, Sam Ocean Nora, first name Seth, Sam Edward, Tom Henry, middle initial D is in David, date of birth 05-1072, social 028-524394. At least it's down a little bit yeah that it was been nasty the past yeah that was days. that was brutal and i just can't imagine you know, standing in the heat that long yeah it was brutal <laughs> yeah. there's your buddy muggy out here. Yes, it is. I, was, I spoke too soon. I was saying it felt nice and cool for a second, and then... As soon as the sun pops out, it gets now hot. Now I just feel gross. As soon as the sun goes away, it gets cool again. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Good morning, Chris. And what was, what's your name? Your, your badge, your name tags covered? 
Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. This these pockets are really small. Officer Estrada, like yeah. Eric Estrada. But I get that a lot. <laughs> I bet you do. But actually, a little too much. I actually have an uncle, Eric Estrada. Oh really? <laughs> Ten four. Thank you. I'm sure you knew. You were good. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank Let's you very much. Back. Okay, so like I said, if you if you want to just alleviate, I'm the I'm gonna try to get on each bus. Day, so just, you know, it's up to the bus drivers but, um, at this I'll point. I'll let them know that and okay. not to be calling us for yeah. you know all the kinds of little things. Yeah. So okay. Should be okay. All right. Thank you. you I have appreciate a good day, it. Seth. You too. Thank you. Police officer Ciara Estrada, 25, of San Diego, California, formerly from Murrieta, California, passed away on Monday, January 1, 2018. She was born on February 13, 1992, in Long Island, New York. Ciara was the adored daughter of Larry and Julie Estrada of Murrieta, beloved sister of Matthew, Brandy, and Cheyenne Estrada. She was a loving sister-in-law to Jeffrey Curtis and shared the role of godmother to Cashton Curtis along with her sister Cheyenne. Ciara, a Murrieta resident for 12 years, graduated from Vista Murrieta High School in 2010. While in high school, she was the executive officer of the Air Force Junior ROTC program. Ciara attended San Diego State University and graduated cum laude with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a minor in sociology. She made the Dean's List all four years of college. She loved being an Aztec and wore the colors proudly. She found her strength and passion on the water, where she rowed varsity crew and was named a National Collegiate Scholar Athlete and Conference USA Honor Roll. Ciara began her career with the San Diego Police Department after graduating from the Police Academy in August of 2015. As a law enforcement officer, she was assigned to the Northern Division. She dedicated her life to the community of San Diego, safeguarding lives and protecting the innocent. She was loved and humbled to be a proud member of the Brotherhood and Sisterhood of the Thin Blue Line. When she wasn't in uniform, she spent most of her time with her beloved dog Trevor and visited her much cherished family. She would take him to dog beaches and parks and give him the best care possible. She was an incredible dog mother and loved him dearly. Rest in peace, Ciara Estrada. Back in the 90s. Oh, yeah? yeah? Before your time, though. Yeah. I should be so lucky.